From the pen of Hans Christian Andersen, the tale of the Emperor's New Clothes. Many years ago, on the side of a hill, there stood a great city. Atop the hill, in a splendid castle, lived the Emperor. Now this Emperor was exceedingly fond of new clothes. He spent all his money on being well-dressed. He cared nothing about reviewing his soldiers or going for a ride in his carriage except to show off his new clothes. Here it was rarely said, the king's in the throne room, for he usually wasn't. And instead of saying the king's in council, as one might about any other ruler, here they always said, the emperor's in his dressing room. The vain emperor could be found posing before his mirror in one new costume after another. He had a suit of clothes for every hour of the day. Each day, many strangers came to the great city, and among them one day came two swindlers claiming to be magic weavers. Yes, Majesty. We use magic thread that has a way of making itself invisible to certain types of people. The thread will become invisible to those unfit for office and to those who may be unusually stupid, which of course eliminates anyone from here, sire. Unfit for office or stupid? Just the clothes for me, thought the emperor. If I wore them, I'd be able to discover who in my kingdom is unfit for his post. I could also tell the wise from the foolish. Yes, I certainly must get some of those clothes right away. I'll pay the weavers to start at once. Here's your bag and yours. Ha! The swindlers set up a loom and pretended to weave, though there was nothing on the loom. They burned candles far into the night to count their money. Gold! <laughs> I wonder how those weavers are getting on, the emperor thought. But he felt uncomfortable about going, thinking about that magic thread. So he ordered his minister to visit the weavers. The minister was a sensible man who did his duty well. Minister, will you please examine the texture of the cloth, the patterns, the pretty colors? They're priceless. We're certain that you're going to approve. Uh -huh. He saw nothing. He felt nothing. He stared as hard as he dared at the empty loom. Isn't it just gorgeous, minister? Isn't it a priceless work of art? Heaven help me, thought the minister. I can't see anything at all. But he didn't say so. To admit to the swindlers that he saw nothing would be to admit that he was unfit for office or stupid. He imagined what the emperor would say. The emperor would certainly discharge him. The minister would become the laughing stock of the kingdom. That would never do. Uh, why, it's magnificent. I'll report to the emperor. He'll be delighted. This is a work of art. And that is what the minister reported to the emperor. Presently, the emperor, still uncomfortable when he remembered that those unfit for office would not be able to see the fabric, decided to send another trustworthy official to see how the work was progressing and when it would be ready. The same thing happened to him that happened to the minister. I have come to see the clothing that you are making for the emperor. Would you show me where it is? Why, right here on the loom, sir, under your mm. very nose. <gasps> Now, of course, the official couldn't see anything because there was nothing to see. But with the swindler staring at him, he said nothing. Isn't it a beautiful piece of cloth? Why, it's exquisite, cried the official, fearing for his job. What beautiful colors, what lovely patterns. I'll tell the emperor at once. With everyone talking of this splendid cloth, the emperor could control his curiosity no longer. I shall go to the weavers and inspect the fabric myself. <clears throat> there were the swindlers, working hard. As you see, sire, we have nearly completed our work on your magic garment. We trust you'll find that all is completely satisfactory. 
Uh, we had to move the buttons a bit higher to emphasize Your Majesty's broad shoulders. But aside from that, sire... Magnificent! My, but aren't those all just the prettiest colors? Isn't their use of pattern absolutely brilliant as well as daring and bold, Your Majesty? What's this? thought the Emperor. My minister can see the cloth. My chancellor can see it. Obviously, the weavers can see it. But I can't see anything. Oh, this is terrible. Am I a fool? he thought. Am I unfit to be the Emperor? What a thing to happen to me, of all people! But nothing could make him say that he didn't see anything. He laughed and said the garment was very pretty and ordered the Chancellor to give the swindlers more money. At last came that great day when the swindlers delivered the Emperor's new clothes. I'm draping the robe now, Your Majesty. Light as spider silk, isn't it? One would almost think he had nothing on. But that's what makes these garments so fine. They give you complete freedom of movement. The minister observed. The colors, Majesty. Each shade is so very suitable. The chancellor observed. The patterns! I must say they are exquisite! The ladies-in-waiting agreed with the gentlemen of the court that the outfit was magnificent. Unnoticed, the swindlers sneaked out with their final payment of gold, while the emperor prepared to show off his new clothes. Everyone marveled. Nobody would confess that he didn't see anything, for that would prove him unfit for his position, or a fool. Isn't the Emperor's new costume just superb? And it fits him to perfection. Indeed, no costume the Emperor had worn before was ever such a complete success. Then, suddenly, from the crowd... <laughs> the Emperor has no clothes on! At first, there was absolute silence. No one knew what to say. Was their Emperor actually wearing no clothes? Then, one person began to whisper to another about what the child had said. The Emperor began to blush. An innocent child had said the Emperor was wearing no clothes. He hasn't got anything on! The whole town cried out at last, and they started to laugh. <laughs> the Emperor stood petrified, for he suspected they were right. When it was suggested that the procession return quickly to the castle, the Emperor agreed. Had he learned his lesson? Time would tell.